In this lesson, I'll quickly show you how to calculate KSP for molar solubility. The question reads, the molar solubility of Ag2SO4 in pure water is 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 5 molar. We're expected to calculate the KSP. The first thing that I want to do is show you the dissociation of this molecule in water. And it should look like this. We have Ag2SO4. This yields Ag ions. Ag plus, and that's aqueous, remember this is a solid, plus sulfate ions, SO4, 2 minus, and we want to make sure that this is balanced. We can balance this by placing a 2 in front of the Ag plus. Now we'll create an ice table showing the initial change and equilibrium concentrations. Since this is a solid, that does not count in our equilibrium expression, so I'll just cross that out and we'll focus on these two. The initial concentration of Ag plus is obviously zero at the beginning, and there's none of this either. We'll represent the change of SO4 2 minus as x, and by all means you could have set this as x and stoichiometrically found the equivalent for the other. Now if I'm setting this as x and it's a 1 to 2 ratio, then this should be 2x. To find E, the equilibrium expression, you add I and C, and that's always the case. So I'll add 0 plus 2x, that's 2x. 0 plus x is x. Now the equilibrium expression. The equilibrium expression, sp, is equal to the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants. Since our only reactant is this solid, we don't worry about the denominator of this expression. So let me show you what I mean. I have the concentration of Ag plus at equilibrium. That's being raised to the power of 2 because of the coefficient times the concentration of SO4 2 minus at equilibrium. So I'll just write down SO4 2 minus to begin. I'll substitute 2x into here. So I have 2x raised to the power of 2 times x. And let's combine these. We get 2 to the power of 2 is 4. x to the power of 2 is x to the power of 2 times x. That's x to the power of 3. Now we're expected according to the question, to find Ksp when the molarity is 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 5. At this stage, I'll replace that number, 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 5 molar, into x, and that way I can find my Ksp. Let's go ahead and do that. 4 times 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5, and that is being raised to the power of 3. Our Ksp at this molarity is 6.912 times 10 to the power of negative 15. Of course, we need this to two significant figures. So we'll say 6.9 times 10 to the power of negative 15 is the Ksp for silver sulfate. If you'd like the solution for question two, leave a comment below and I'll make a video for you. We'll see you soon.